What's up, resin hose or whatever floats your goat? It's Relentless, and welcome back to another Division video. And today we're going to be going over what I think um, is not like a shift in the meta, um, but it's becoming more evident um, that when running in a duo or solo, that skill power is very, very relevant when it comes to survivability. So the way the diverseness and is diverseness even a word? The diversity in the division, the way the builds are going and how things are so fluid as far as when it comes to your play style and how you prefer playing, uh, and then when stacking skill haste, uh, when running moderate skill power, but still have uh, just enough impact to uh, affect your booster shot and whatnot, uh, is, is very, very, how you say, uh, vital into your survivability. And the way things are going, it just seems like things are shifting toward more hybrid builds that are out there because there are so many things that you can switch in and out to whether you want to be more tanky, uh, whether you want to be more balanced all across the board, or you still want to do enough damage and be somewhat of a DPS player, but have the survivability of a tanky player uh, based on you know overheals and skill power alone. So all of them factors in, but without my complete ranting and going on forever and a day, let's jump right into this video. As you can see, I'm running a four alpha, two tactician. Uh, my SMGs consist of the AUG-3 with Vicious, Responsive, Fierce, and Unforgiving. Um, I have diff different, several variations of how you could play this. Um, you could go a little bit more or less crit chance, more crit damage. Um, you can go for straight blunt force trauma, such as this one, Unforgiving, Brutal, and Responsive. I mean, the sky's the limit. It's just uh, purely based on your play style and it, I guess how you say, not to uh, fashion anybody or downgrade anybody, but those that may be familiar in actually how to move in the DZ during PvP or if you're strictly a PvE uh, type player. And this build uh, can more or less go across both forms, both PvE and PvP. But if you know how to move in the dark zone, you know that left, right, side step, uh, and you know how to utilize your cover and all your, of your surroundings, then it's very easy to survive. Uh, and this is a great build on that survivability with doing significant enough damage and be a more on the tanky side with significant enough uh, skill power to impact uh, your heals and that in turn affect your survivability. Without further ado, let's jump right into the gear. As you can see, Alphabet's chest piece, uh, great base armor roll, great firearm for all 1268. Um, major attributes, health on a kill, and health at 15865. And it seems I have an NPC that does not want me to do this video. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Is that you, dog? You gonna call Peter on me? Anyways. And getting back to the gear sets um, and the minor attributes, 48% ammo capacity. Uh, you can mix up whatever you prefer on your chest piece as far as major attributes. Um, for the more or less to have this balanced as far as on the PvE and the PvP side, that's the health on the kill comes in handy, but you can easily substitute that for something else. And then the mod slots. I have 267 electronics with health and another 238 electronics with 3% skill haste. I prefer this being a higher electronics uh, role, but uh, that's all I could come across at the time, and this dude is pissing me off. There you go, take that. Anyways, as if my ranting isn't enough and my improper grammar, the skyline looks terrific. But let's get right back into the build. Moving on to the mask. 1264 and firearms grade uh, roll. Uh, Armor-wise, it goes to 1001, so your toughness can increase depending on if you have better armor rolls on this. And the minor attributes adds increased kill XP. I prefer something else that would be more vital to me. Um, as far as when it comes to PvE and PvP, uh, right now the increased kill XP just for more or less uh, affects the PvE aspect of it. But 14% increased kill XP is complete squat. So I prefer a better mask in this slot with a better minor attributes. But um, since I have a great firearms roll on this and with the skill power on it, uh, this makes it a great mask to use uh, until I find another one. 
And the mod slots, 263 electronics plus 3% skill haste. Now you can substitute uh, these electronic mods uh, and bring your skill power down like 20k if you want to go up in toughness. Um, but sa uh, but stacking, you know, I think you, you get more versatility and more viability in going into the skill power and toughness. And if you already have like 6,000 firearms and you're putting out at least 19k uh, damage, then you're good to go, in my opinion. But moving on, knee pass, 1266 in stamina, 60, 1607 in base uh, armor. In my majors, I opted in for the additional health to, in my health pool to be more tanky. Um, as I find a better uh, knee pads along the way, this build will improve uh, like my minor, major and my minor attributes. Um, even though I do have a good roll on them at 1266 health. Uh, and the minor attributes, I prefer something else other than the increased kill XP. Uh, my preferred would probably be uh, flame resistance or fire resistance um, instead of the increased kill XP. And the damage to elites uh, incorporates into the PvE side. And if you have uh, flame uh, resistance or bleed resistance instead of increased kill XP, it makes this even more viable uh, when it comes to PvP and both PvE. So this is a multifaceted build. And uh, I, I really like it. I can see electronics mod uh, and skill haste. Uh, I just threw in that secret mind damage mod uh, in there because I was playing around with this build when it comes to the um, air bursts. And uh, preferably, um, I would actually go with a different form of mod. Probably first aid self heal, um, such as like I have in the others, as you'll see coming up. But I, that was just something out of filler. Uh, moving on to the backpack, uh, 1185 in armor, 1260 in firearms, and the major attribute spot, 12,528 health. Uh, you can switch that out and change that to uh, skill power if you want to have a little more skill power. I opted in for the health just to be a little bit more on the tanky side. And in the minor attributes, you would want preferably uh, ammo capacity when running Alpha Bridge. Um, but since you at least have it on one, either the chest piece or the backpack, then if you only have a backpack with uh, good armor base values and your major attributes is good, but you have to reroll the main stat on it, then the minor attributes for the burn resistance actually uh, helps out. It's one of the, the better of the miners there besides ammo capacity if you should need it. And then moving on to the mods 261 stamina and 3217 health six percent first aid self heal and another six percent first aid self heal now to make this even more viable if you had a stamina mod um it's easy to empty this out and go with something else like uh, if you want more electronics with skill haste if you want to uh, completely stack skill haste that is perfectly in your wheelhouse then by all means go for it um, the RNG gods have not blessed me whatsoever when it comes to rolling mods. So therefore, I have to go with what I get. So just take this as not less a blueprint on what you have to do, but more or less on a basis of just a generalization of when it comes to, you know, four-piece and two-piece. And the only reason I'm running the two-piece tactician is for the specific 15% uh, skill haste. As you can see, uh, it comes in handy, so you can have a total of 30%. And I have another pesky MP. Really? Y'all like, leave me alone? Ah. It's like people sending me invites in the DZ all the time, over and over and over. I'm trying to get a glorious skyline for you people on this build video, and they just want to keep messing with me. Let's roll over. This nice burnt down gas station looks like a great place to set up shop. Anybody else? Yeah, that's right. But moving on, uh, gloves, 960 base armor, it goes up to 1001. Um, if you prefer running uh, LMGs or assault rifles, then by all means, whatever uh, weapon type you prefer, such as, you know, I have these. Uh, Alpha Bridge gloves that I could easily equip if I want more firearms, but as you can see, my skill power drops to 125. Um, if I want to switch to other tactician gloves, I could easily go on uh, and have be a little more tanky with the base armor roll that's higher. 
uh, with you know other variations of different weapons depending on which weapon type you prefer. You can go with shotgun, LMG, assault rifle damage, whatever you know fits the build and your playstyle with your preferred weapon. But you would want an, uh, the type of weapon you want and crit hit chance and crit hit damage as the major attributes as always. Um, if you're stacking pri primarily more into skill haste, then I would substitute the crit hit chance, um, especially if you're already over 50% crit hit chance uh, with running SMGs. You can easily swap out the crit hit chance and go for, uh, if there's skill haste on there already, that would work. That would make this build even better. Um, you can switch it out for health on a kill if you prefer this build for more PvE scenario. But these gloves come in great. Uh, 1245 electronics, which they were a little bit higher, but it has the trifecta of what you're looking for on the major attributes as far as I can, I'm concerned, because I am primarily an SMG player, and this is more or less going on alongside the crit build, and we'll get into my character sheet here in a moment. And then moving on to my holster, 1267, 1269, and 1259 stats across the board, which the armor base value was a little higher, and in the major attributes, I have 6% skill haste. And then in a mod slot, I have another first aid self heal. Because like I said, I'm mostly running duos or solo. And this is a good solo or duos uh, PvP or PvP build. So as you see, crit hit chance, 56%. 68% crit damage. And 61% headshot damage. I got 14% damage to elite. 5% health on a kill. That helps out with the PvP, PvE aspect of it. Apologies. Uh, when that makes this build so much versatile when it comes to PvE and PvP, you don't have to keep switching out and having the the perfect rolls on every single piece of gear and keep switching them out, depending on if you're going to just PvE on incursions or daily missions or weeklies or HVTs. And instead of going, you know, you can keep this build on as way it is, as is, uh, and fluidly switch over from PvP to roaming the DZ or in Last Stand. Skill power is 156.5k, and my skill haste is 30%. Now, depending on what skills uh, you prefer using, in this case, I'm running the booster shot, um, but you can run defibrillator if you're going last stand, or you can run the overdose um, if you want to be a little more tankier and have that uh, additional overheal. Um, but in this case, it kind of balanced out, because uh, as you can see on my overdose, 151, Oops. And then my booster shot is at 91, but you get that uh, increase in damage, and then you get damage resistance. So I selected the booster shot instead of the overdose in this situation. Um, because I have 156k skill power, as you can see, my skill cooldowns are significantly a lot lower than most uh, hybrid builds are. So I can get my heals every 31 seconds, and then my cooldowns, um, you know, if you want to run turrets or the airburst secret mines, around basically every 30 seconds, and those can decrease depending on if you stack even more skill haste on. But this is my interpretation of an alpha hybrid build, um, since, like I said earlier, that things are so um, versatile now, and where skill power is becoming like a major factor when it comes to both PvE and PvP, uh, more so in PvP than it is in PvE. Um, if you want to stack complete skill haste, this is the way to go, but you can easily swap out the other two pieces for anything else. If you're running ARs, and such as like the LVOAC, you can want more stability. You can easily swap the two pieces out for Striker, or you can run the Barrett's Chest piece and Savage. Um, but in this situation, as you can see, I'm already at 56% uh, create a chance with my SMG, so therefore Savage is not necessarily needed. Uh, the way that I have my weaponry set up uh, with my crit chance, so therefore I do not need pults. Uh, 56% is great. And then, I, like I said, I can take off 5% of my gloves as long as you're over 50%. Um, that's good to go in my book, and then that would give you 37% skill haste instead of the 30%. And then if I had that additional mod um, in my mod slot, it would give me another 30%, 30, no, 3%, so that would make it a total of 40%. That way I get things back even faster than that. But that's my build. I won't hold y'all up anymore. I hope you enjoy it. Leave all your critiques in the comment section below. Please check out Revolution Gaming. Great, awesome community. Their link is in the comment section below. And also don't forget to check out our 1200k subs when we get there. Our giveaway. Um, 
click on the annotation at the end of the video on the right hand lower right hand side and you will click on that it'll take you to the video for the giveaway great controller cinch gaming big shout out to you use code cinch 4206 for five percent off all your purchases or just hit that like and subscribe button and then follow that video and all the steps in that to even increase your chances even further in the giveaway it's an awesome great giveaway i recommend go checking that out and also check out this build video if uh you want something around more skill haze and don't take this as an exact on this is how you should absolutely do it it's just my preferred way and just using and utilizing what gear that i had to produce the best build that i have with what i had to deal with but thank you so much i got broads in atlanta just to the lean the family pretty cards in the scammers hitting the licks in the family